So just a few days after the Clemson Tigers landed one of the best overall recruits in the class of 2024 and five-star linebacker Sammy Brown, they went ahead and doubled up and brought in two of the best wide receivers in the country. Clemson is absolutely heating up their 2024 recruiting, so you guys are not going to want to miss any of the moves that they end up making. So guys, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and leave this video a like for the two absolute studs that the Tigers brought in in the class of 2024. Another me talking let me introduce you guys to these two new dominant wide receivers three two one Starting it off strong, the Tigers brought in four-star wide receiver coming out of Tampa Catholic High School, TJ Moore. This guy, wait, wait a second, wait a second, what, what are we about to watch? Oh, just snagging out the air with the one-hander, making it look too easy out there. Standing at 6'3 and 190 pounds, this dude has a excellent frame. And if you guys have been paying attention to Clemson's wide receivers, they tend to like the bigger body wide receivers. I mean, Justin Ross was a big body wide receiver. Uh, Nah, they're going, they're going crazy. Joseph Ngata was a bigger wide receiver. Overall, Clemson tends to like those bigger wide receivers. And TJ Moore is no exception. This kid, hey, he's making these plays look effortless out here. Hey, Clemson, you know, you got your quarterback of the future now. So, hey, Cade Klubnick is looking to turn that Clemson Tigers offense around and get them back into that college football playoff contention. Stay up on your feet. Make a move. Yup. Swoop. Walking touchdown. Too easy. Too easy. Let's go. Hey, you got the quarterback situation figured out now. You, you got some pieces, you know. Can y'all get back to being that dominant perennial ACC winning team like we've seen Clemson and known Clemson to be. I think bringing in guys like the two wide receivers that you guys brought in, it's going to make Cade Clubbing's job a lot easier. That's all I know. Oh, no, don't, 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 no, don't, don't get all Tony two tap on me. Hold up. Yeah, to make it look too easy. Give me that on your head. Hey, TJ Moore, this kid is cold out here. He, he is going to be that X Factor guy. I love the way that he plays. Give me that. I'm too strong. And the Tigers paired up my guy TJ Moore with five-star wide receiver, the third best receiver in the country, and the number one player in Texas, Bryant Wesco, coming out of Midlothian High School. Hey, come on, y'all. Like, bringing in a five-star wide receiver and the number one player in the state of Texas. You know how... You know how tough that is to be the number one player in Texas? But my guy, that, that's my guy, Brian Wesco right there. Standing at, again, 6'2", 6'3", 170, 180 pounds. He's giving you a little bit of a different look. But again, he's going to be that jump ball winning, just Tony two-tap. He's going he's gonna to be snatching balls off of people's heads, making it look too easy. He's going to be plucking the ball completely out of the air. Adding these two guys on the outside is going to be an unstoppable pairing. Like you're looking at back. Oh, give me that! You're looking at back when they had um. They're looking at back when they had Sammy Watkins and um. Ah, uh, it, it was Sammy Watkins, and then why am I blanking on the other guy's name? He was actually the better of, of the two. But back when Clemson had those two guys, comment comment the name down below. I already know that y'all are gonna know the name. Back when they had those two guys, they were unstoppable at the wide receiver position. I, I think T.J. Moore and Brian Wesco is gonna be a pairing similar to that. Oh, now I'm mad. Now I'm going to be thinking this whole time. I'm like, what was the other wide receiver's name? Yeah, give, give me that. Oh, look at, look at this clean route. Just, ah, got him. Where are you going? Put him in a blender and then get gone. Let's go, walk-in touchdown. So those are the two new dominant wide receivers that the Clemson Tigers are bringing in, and four-star wide receiver TJ Moore and five-star wide receiver Bryant Wesco. Both of these guys are absolutely dominant in their own right. I personally, I I'm leaning a little bit more towards TJ Moore. I just liked a little bit more of what I saw from his tape. But again, this is just their junior tape. They've had their whole off season to get better. We haven't seen a much of what they look like in camps. And 
Tampa Catholic is one of the best teams in the state of Florida. Midlothian High School is not one of the is not known as one being one of the top teams in the state of Texas. So the quarterback play might not be there. The just level of play overall might not be there. Either way, four or five star wide receivers. The, the talent's going to be there. Again, I think the pairing that those two guys are going to have is going to be absolutely elite. Hopkins. It was Sammy Watkins and De, and uh, Hopkins. I'm I'm blanking on his first name because he's been hurt all the time. But those are the two guys that comes in. I know you guys already commented like a billion times down in the comment section. But yeah, those two guys are going to be just like those two guys. That didn't make any sense. But you know what? Let's wrap up this video. I love it. Appreciate all y'all. Comment down below what you guys' thoughts on Brian Wesco and TJ Moore. And leave this video a like. Hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications. I love and appreciate each and every single last one of y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.